going to make the pack rat car from Prime Empire. You see this car a lot in the episode called Speedway 5 billion. So do you guys remember way back when they used to make like cool machines for the bad guys? I mean, just look at Core Ninjago. To this day, one of my favorite Ninjago machines is the Raid Zeppelin, which is a bad guy machine. And that definitely was the case for Prime Empire. You have a ton of little ninja machines, which, okay, let's be honest, they're all really cool and I don't mind them, but I really want a bad guy machine. And that's what I'm gonna do today. So let's start with the characters that would be in this set. So we're gonna put Jane here as the classic ninja character. So I wanted to build Racer 7, and I wanted to add her in this set, but how do you build Racer 7? It's gotta be so hot. Oh wait, no it's not. All I had to do was watch this fancy little Brick Legends video right here. So I watched the video, built Razor 7, and now it was time to move on to the Whack Rep. One of them actually has a full-on mohawk, and I just think that looks so cool. The mohawk doesn't fit on the head. Don't do this at home. I'm just gonna take my pocket knife here and whittle away at the back of Ow. his head so I can fit the mohawk on. Okay, it actually works, and honestly, I love this character so much more. He is a full-on rock star. So now it's time to move on to the whack wrap machine so this thing has two ginormous wheels on the back and then two tiny wheels on the front so what I want to happen here is you to drive this thing forward and this wrecking ball thing on the back spins violently to like destroy the other cars so I connected an axle to the back wheel with a bunch of gears to gear it up a bunch put it into a gearbox and then I use a super useful technic piece you can make something slope and make it still be able to turn the very end I added the axle wrecking ball this is lethal so maybe that's why they didn't make this an official Lego set because they didn't want little kids driving this around absolutely their siblings okay so I just had an idea maybe on the back to make this thing even more deadly we should add some shurikens that like spin out man this thing is deadly okay guys I have a genius idea I'm gonna make three little power-up stands that go on like the racetrack. I'm gonna use a little video beat tile and that looks pretty awesome. Whenever this whack rat hits one, he can get a new power-up to spin on the top of his machine. I literally got a full-on saw. This might be the scariest thing I've built on Lego. I can't wait to try it out. And then the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do two huge bombs. I hope these two other attachments work. So let's go check them out right now. So here we have it guys, the whack rat car truck thing of a bobber. This comes with three characters. We've got Jay in his Prime Empire suit, Racer 7, and of course we've got a whack rat, which I'm going to be calling Mohawk because of his absolutely ginormous mohawk. Maybe I should grow a mohawk. I mean, would that, would that? Then we have the whack rat vehicle with this huge huge wrecking ball on front that absolutely destroys stuff. On the back, we have another function. In order to stop the other racers, he can use these shuriken things. He's got a nice jet back here. His chair is yellow. He's got a control pad. Then we have three power-ups. And once Mohawk runs into them, he can get new power-ups, and it changes his power-up to this. Alrighty, so we have the cannonballs up here, and when we spin it, oh, that's sick. Now let's go to the last one, which is a absolute beast of a saw. Bro, I love the saw. Oh my goodness. Wow. So if we get some of the other vehicles that are in the Speedway 5 billion, and honestly, they look pretty good all together, and you could have a great race with all of them. I hope I inspired you guys to make something like this, or something even cooler. 